Yeah, let's try this out. We're talking about red oak and how it's so ring porous that you can actually suck water through the wood. All right, so I put a piece of red oak on the lathe and turned it down into a straw, and I turned it a bit too thin, which meant the porous rings I need to suck the water through didn't run all the way down the piece. So this didn't work. A way to think about wood is that it's basically a bundle of tubes held together that are kind of running parallel up and down the tree. They're the tree's veins. They bring water and nutrients up out of the ground and into the tree. What we're looking at with these pieces of the wood is called the end grain. As you probably already know, each ring represents one year of growth, but those rings can be divided between early wood and late wood. In certain species like oak, the early season wood is often what's called ring porous. Skewer tubes grow just much wider. What I have here is just some soapy water. Spread some of this on the end of this board. Blow on this end. I'm able to blow air all the way through this long piece of wood. Look how cool that is. So the handmade straw might not have worked, but if I use an entire board. Uh, yep. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. It doesn't not add flavor to the water, so at least there's that. 